DaVinci Resolve 18, they've added some nifty new features in the render, which includes export and import render presets. So what do I mean by this? Well, I'm in the render page, and now we've got all of the presets on here that they normally do. But let's say I want to do a custom preset. So I've got this particular video clip that, as you can see, it's in a portrait format. It's got subtitles on it. It's going to go on YouTube story and Instagram and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this probably pretty regularly. Well, under my custom, I'm on the video settings now. So I want to make sure that I'm including my subtitles, which normally by default is not on there. And I want it always burned into the video. In the audio, we've got this new option now, audio normalization, which allows you to normalize the audio to wherever you're planning to put it on. So you've got Netflix, YouTube, whatever, and I'll do a separate video with a bit of an explanation on what all these are, but we want YouTube. This is gonna be going as a YouTube story and an Instagram story. And so I've got all my key items. Let's see, format, resolution, all good. Now what I can do is I can click these three little dots and I can go save as new preset. So we're going to call this story and Instagram. I'm going to hit OK. Now I've got that preset saved. And so what will happen is if I go over and I click this little drop down and mine is not mine for some reason is showing up on the monitor next. So there we go. So if I click the little drop down, you can see that I've got different options. So in this case, I've already created one for my just podcast where I just need the audio. I don't need the video and the audio settings I want for that. I can select my story Instagram and it will automatically export it at that preset. Add to render queue. Great. Now let's say I want to export this and share it with somebody else. I can do that or move to a new computer. Same thing. Click the three dots, go to the one that you want to export. And you can see I've got export presets and, you know, things like update and delete if maybe you might make a change or something like that. Now, of course, we've exported and saved our presets. Let's say I want to import. Well, just go the three dots, click import. It will take, you can go to wherever it is that you've saved the preset at and import it there or if you're sending it to somebody else. Another cool thing I want to show you about this before we go, if I go to my edit page, now when I'm in my edit page, I can click on that timeline, right click, when I go to, and I can go add to render queue using, and notice now I've got those presets here as well. So you no longer have to put it, so you no longer have to go to the render queue. So in this case, let's say I go story and Instagram, it's going to ask me where I want to save it. Hit save. And now if I go into my render, you can see it's all queued up. So I can potentially queue up multiple things. I've got this other one talking about this mug, timeline, add to render queue, and maybe I want to use a different one. So let's just use the standard H264. Click that. Click where I want it to go. Hit save. And now that's queued up as well. So that way I can uh, queue them up and hit render all at some point, go make a cup of coffee, come back and have them all done. So a nifty new feature that they've added with 18.6, the ability to save your render presets.